Do you ever hear people say that homeschoolers don't learn to think critically because they only learn whatever their parents happen to know? We know that's not true, but what those people don't know is that we can actually incorporate critical thinking into our homeschool curriculum. Today's going to be fun. I've got this big box of curriculum to show you from the Critical Thinking Company. We've got full math and reading curriculum books to look through, plus a bunch of really cool activity books. And all of these incorporate critical thinking skills into the curriculum, which is so cool and really important. Later in the video, I'm also going to show you the Critical Thinking Company website so you can see everything that they have to offer. And you can see if there's something there that you might want to incorporate into your homeschool curriculum. They have a complete curriculum for every grade level and it all incorporates critical thinking skills into it, which is so important. They're also really affordable compared to some of the other curriculum companies out there. And even if you already have a curriculum that you love, this video is still for you because they have all sorts of really cool supplemental materials that you can add onto whatever homeschool curriculum you're using. So first, let me show you what I have here. My twins are four, so we've got some preschool and kindergarten level curriculum, and my oldest daughter is nine, so we've also got some fourth grade stuff to look through. So let me show you. First, we have here Fun Time Phonics. So this right here is a complete phonics program. It's for age four, to second grade, so depending on whether your child has started learning to read yet, whatever age they might be, this is what you're gonna to wanna to start with. And I'm so excited to have this because my twins are four, they're just starting to want to learn to read. They see their older sister doing school and they're starting to show an interest. So I'm so excited to start with this. We did phonics with my older daughter. Um, so I'm really excited. It's very, you know, colorful. And what's really nice is you can tear out all the pages in here and then photocopy them. So like for me, I've got twins. They're both going to be doing this at the same time. So we can make copies so that we don't have to buy a second book. And it's really got everything in it to teach your child to read all the way from the beginning sounds, rhyming, putting sounds together, short vowel sounds, short vowel letters, consonants, and the beginning reading skills, beginning letter pairs, ending letters, middle letters, reading first words. And what's really cool about this and all of the curriculum books from the Critical Thinking Company is that they incorporate critical thinking into all of the activities. So even the traditional reading, writing, math, science curriculums all have the critical thinking incorporated in there. Next, we've got mathematical reasoning. I've got level one beginner and level two beginner. And these are also really colorful really fun. I've started doing this one with the twins. I think maybe this one's age three, maybe they're already past this, so I'm thinking of switching to level two for them. But they really like it because it's just colorful and some of the activities they get to draw and color on, some of the things they just point to. And another thing that's awesome about this curriculum is it's all open and go. You don't have to lesson prep or plan out any lessons. You just pick up the book, open it up and go. And for the older kids, they can do it on their own. Although I will say I've had a lot of fun doing some of the older lessons with my nine-year-old and I'll show you that in a bit. But if, for the older kids, you can just really give them the book and they can do their lesson on their own. But for the littler ones, you don't have to prep anything. Just open it up and it's just, it's a lot of fun. So we've got these are complete math textbooks for the younger kids. The Mathematical Reasoning Beginning One books got counting, fractions, language, matching, ordering objects, patterns, shapes, subtraction, and then the Mathematical Level, the Beginning Math Level Two has got addition, counting, fractions, 
language, logic, matching, patterns, shapes, subtraction. Next for the younger kids is something my twins really love. They're having so much fun. It's called Tell Me a Story. And this is a book where you just see there's pictures and then there's questions on the other side of the page. And so your child's gonna look at the picture and you're going to ask them the questions and they're actually gonna tell the story based on just the picture. So it's really cool and fun and they're building their thinking skills while they basically like have story time even though there's no story to actually read. And we've got Can You Find Me? This is a, another critical thinking book. It's supposed to build thinking skills in reading, math, science, and social studies. We haven't started this one yet, but basically it's almost kind of like I don't know if you want to call it a riddle, but there's a little story here and you're going to read the story and then they're going to say which picture matches up with the story that you read. And they're just short little stories, not even a story, more like a couple paragraphs. And you're going to read that and then based on what you read, they should be able to pick out which picture matches up with that story. And then this is called Building Thinking Skills. And they've got this for this grade level and there's another one for my daughter's grade level and this is kind of like their flagship textbook if you will this has got all sorts of different subjects in it so there's critical thinking sequencing arithmetic reasoning geometric shapes test prep counting problem solving there's a whole bunch of stuff in here there's vocabulary development too so this is another book that's very colorful. It's very fun for little kids. And it's basically just a bunch of different activities that are gonna help build those critical thinking skills. And that was actually level two. So this is level one of that. So that book was for ages four and five. And this book here is for ages three and four. We haven't started this one yet either. And I'm not sure which one to start with, but you know, it's things like this. Identifying colors, drawing lines to connect the colors, saying which shape is which color, this, you know, little things you read to them and then they're gonna point out the right shape, things like that. Then we've got Dr. Do Riddles. This is just one of those little supplement things that you might wanna add into a curriculum. This one is basically you're just reading them little riddles and then they are gonna tell you. So for instance, a fruit of red or green and I start with A. My juice is brown and sweet. My core you throw away. So, you know, apple, I assume your child will, will be able to guess that. And they also, they tell the letters things down with. So they tell the letters things start with in the riddle. So it's kind of also like associating the letter with the sound it makes and the whatever it describes, like A, Apple. So this is just a bunch of those that you could just read to your child and they can guess what the answer is. And then this one for grades pre-K to first grade is Visual Perceptual Skill Building, book one. This is to develop visual, motor, critical thinking skills for reading, writing, and math. So this one's really interesting. There's mazes, there's visual memory, sequential memory, spatial relationships. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting book. This one, they're not in color like the others, but it's, it's pretty cool. I haven't tried this one out yet with the twins, but I definitely will. Then we got the mind benders. This is the little kid version. And there's also one for the older kids. I also have one for my nine-year-old, so I'll show you that. But these are really cool. My husband said he actually has an app on his phone that's something like this. Basically, you know, you've got things up top and things on the side, and you're going to read this, and it's going to tell you about them, and you're going to put a yes or no to determine, like, which person up here matches with the thing on the side. And there's all sorts of different puzzles like that in this book. And then this one is a similar one to that puzzle I just showed you, but this is a science one. So it's got 
animals and things like that. But it's the same idea, you're gonna match up like this one. You're putting cold-blooded and warm-blooded animals, so you're matching up the animal to where they live, things like that. I think that's everything I have for the preschool, kindergarten level of critical thinking company textbooks. Now, let me show you what I have for my nine-year-old. There is a lot and it's really exciting. So let's see, what can we start with? Here we've got Reading Detective. So this is basically a reading comprehension textbook. It's for third and fourth grade. And there are all sorts of fiction and nonfiction things in here to read. And then there are a bunch of questions to answer to and activities to do to check for reading comprehension. So it's a really, a really nice curriculum that you could get for reading comprehension. And we've got this giant textbook. So this is the grade four to six version of the building thinking skills. And something like this, I wouldn't expect to complete maybe in one year, you know, that there's a reason why it's grades four to six, but this is level two. So this is building thinking skills for reading, writing, math, science, and test prep. And it's a really interesting book. It's really colorful, like a lot of the other books I've shown you. It's just a lot more advanced. I think that this is not something we've started yet, but I'm really excited to do this because building critical thinking skills is definitely super important. So this is, you know, their big, big thinking skills textbook right here. And then we've got the grade four mathematical reasoning here. So this is a complete fourth grade math textbook. You can see it's really colorful and I have started using this with my nine-year-old and she really likes it. She's always kind of not wanted to do math so much. And when things are colorful like this and engaging, she, she really has a lot of fun with it. So this textbook is going to talk about the calendar, counting, data analysis, data collection, decimals, fractions, inequalities, mean, median, mode, money, multiplication, order of operations, perimeter, place value, rounding, temperature, time, weight, and there's word problems. There, it's this is a huge, huge textbook. You could use this for your complete curriculum or you could use this as a supplement it's just designed so it's going to teach math in, in a way that also incorporates those critical thinking skills. There's not a ton of like doing the same problem over and over and over again. It's, it's definitely different, but I really like it. I really do. And I'm really excited to go through this whole textbook with my nine-year-old and see if, you know, it, it works out better than some of the other ones we've tried that haven't worked so great. I think this is really going to be a good one. And then we've also got the basics of critical thinking. This is a smaller book for grades four through nine. So you could really use this one whenever in that age range or just do, you know, a little bit. It's got all sorts of different activities. So it kind of combines some of the different activities that you can get in those smaller books into uh, one bigger book. It's going to cover what is critical thinking, decisions and conclusions, beliefs and claims, finding evidence, evaluating evidence, facts and opinions, Venn diagrams, agreements and contracts. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this book. We've also got a science textbook here. This is Developing Critical Thinking Through Science for grades four through eight. And this is a hands-on science book. So it's just got a bunch of activities in here. There are 80 different activities. And so each one is going to tell you what you need to do the activity. And then you're going to have, there's going to be questions to ask about the activity. So this is all hands-on science activities that you can do at home. 
And then we've got grade four language smarts. So this is a big textbook. This is a complete language arts curriculum, or you can use it as a supplement. This is like 390 something pages long. It's a really big, really big language arts book. It covers word parts, word relationships, spelling, parts of speech, sentences, writing, a whole bunch of stuff. So you could definitely use this whole textbook for your complete language arts curriculum. And then in addition to that, if you want additional language arts things, I've got critical thinking for reading comprehension. This is for grades one through five. Building writing skills for grades three through five, sentence diagramming, editor in chief, which is really cool. This one, you basically read a passage and then figure out what's wrong with it, which is pretty cool. Then we've got beginning word roots and writing detective. And then for math, we've also got understanding fractions, percent, and decimals. This is for grades four through six. This is something we definitely need. And then I really like this balance benders. This is for grades two to six. And basically in each one, you're gonna see something on a scale. And then you're gonna say which statement is true based on what you know from what's on the scale. So I think that's a really neat activity you can do. Just kind of build some of those thinking skills or just get your self ready to do maybe right do this right before you go into your math lessons your mind's kind of warmed up and then this is the grade three through six version of the mind benders that i was talking about before with the littler kids so you know there's something on this side and then something up top and you're going to read about them and then you're going to match them up based on the facts of what you read so another just fun little activity to warm up the brain, get yourself going. And then my favorite that we've been doing is this critical thinking detective. I absolutely love this. I've had so much fun. So basically you got a little story here about what happened. You got four suspects and then their statements and you have to determine who did it based on all the information that you're given. So this is super fun. We love this. We've had so much fun. And then we've got Smarty Pants Puzzles. This is level one. This is just a bunch of different little stories. And then you got to answer the questions, true or false, based on what you read in there. So that's all of the textbooks that I had here to show you. Now I also want to show you their website so you can see everything that they have and how you can order it and stuff like that. So let's go look at their website. If you wanna find the critical thinking books, you can just search here by critical thinking, put in a grade level if you want, and here are all those books that focus on critical thinking skills. They've got mind benders, building thinking skills, those cool detective books I was talking about, and just so much other cool stuff here. If you're looking for full curriculum, such as math or language arts or that building thinking skills textbook, you can just click over here on full curriculum and pick your grade level and you'll be able to shop all of the full curriculum products for that grade level. You can also save some money by purchasing one of their bundles. They have math bundles, language arts bundles, or you can just get this multi-subject curriculum bundle, which includes everything you need. If you go to their special offers page, you can try some free critical thinking activities or tests. You can also sign up for their free puzzle of the week by email. I also want to point out that a lot of these books are available by ebook. If you change the product type to ebook over here, you can see everything they have available for download. The prices are the same, but if you don't want to wait for something to be shipped, this is another option. I honestly didn't know we were gonna like this curriculum so much. I was getting ready to start looking into a more formal curriculum for the twins just because they see their sister doing schoolwork every day and they're starting to be interested and wanna do something with her. So I'm really excited that we found this and we can use this for their phonics and math and start early building critical thinking skills, which I think is really awesome. 
and my oldest is really enjoying that detective book and the math book and I'm excited to show her some of the other books that they have here. I'm thinking since we're almost done with some of our curriculum that we did this year, it might be fun to do some of this over the summer and then see if like for instance she's almost done with her language arts writing you know grammar curriculum for this year she's almost done we've got like a few lessons left and i'm thinking maybe we do more of this over the summer and then see if she likes this better we might switch over to this for next year so we've got this summer to just check this out play around see what works and I have to say, even though you can let your child do a lot of these on their own, if your children are like mine and want you to do all of their schoolwork with them, I really like this. It's actually a lot of fun. I don't mind sitting with her and like talking with her about this stuff because it's just, it's really interesting. It's really a lot more interesting than some of the other schoolwork that she's done. So I like it. Some of the puzzles and things are actually really challenging. It's just kind of like a whole different way of learning, which I really like. And I kind of wish I had found this earlier, like when my nine-year-old was just starting out because these critical thinking skills, I never really thought to teach, but they're so important. If you have any questions on the Critical Thinking Company curriculum or their website, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching.